This tutorial is uh, about bank statements. Uh, now, banks or credit unions, they used to use what were called passbooks. It was like a little, uh, a little paper book uh, and a way for customers to keep track of all their withdrawals or transactions, paying checks, uh, that kind of thing, and what their balance would be. And so the customer would keep the passbook. And when they went into the bank, they would bring the passbook and it would have their account number on it if they, if they didn't remember it. And then the passbook would get put into a printer and the the uh, the teller would um, it would get printed uh, all the different transactions and give them back to the customer so they could see what all those transactions would be and how much money they have in their bank account. Now customers I think can still get passbooks if they have an account that still had that option. I don't believe if you go into most banks now you can get a passbook on a new account. Uh, they would want you to use online banking uh, that paperless option so that uh, you can view your statements online. And um, um, the same with uh, monthly statements for uh, like uh, any of your accounts, uh, uh, whether you have a wh whatever kind of account it might be, um, you can choose to get a paperless option so you can just see the balances and all the transactions online. Now the purpose, the main purpose of this tutorial is to show you what a bank statement looks like, whether you have a, a paper copy you get in the mail or whether you're looking online. It would, it would look very, very similar. And so uh, usually you have a, a date in the left-hand column here. An access point means the uh, really where that transaction occurred or how that occurred. So ATM stands for, and, and this is a really about all these acronyms, ATM stands for uh, Automated Teller Machine. So uh, on May 2nd, this person uh, used at an ATM uh, withdrew 893.17. And the balance is now 13.50.04. So the previous balance must have been 8.93.17 above this. Uh, on three days later, on May 5th, 2017, uh, the person got paid. So P stands for paycheck. Uh, so pay was 12.53.65. So we take this balance and add that, and we get the new balance. And then uh, four days later, uh, they made a debit purchase. DB stands for debit card purchase. And so it's withdrawal uh, of 4323. So notice the two different columns here. Uh, it's set up very similar to bookkeeping or accounting, where there's a uh, there's a column for withdrawals to the account, there's a column for deposits to the account. Uh, in accounting, they call them debits and credits. So uh, this withdrawal, this debit card purchase was for 4323. So we would take the 260369 and subtract that, and we would get 256046. Uh, on the 13th of May, ET stands for a an electronic transfer. Uh, again, that would be withdrawal, so it's going out of your account. Uh, perhaps they transferred to another account, giving somebody some money, whatever. It could be their own account or a different one. And the amount was for 293.92. So it's a withdrawal, so we would take this and subtract 293.92, and it's down at 226654. That's a new balance. Um, this must be a checking account, so on May 20th, they wrote a check, and the number is here, so uh, it's good to have that number, so you can check, check, you can see which checks you've written have been cashed and which ones aren't. Uh, that would be withdrawals coming out of the account for $300, so this minus $300 would be $1966.54 for the new balance. And then uh, on May 29th, which is, uh, let's see, no, I guess it is 24 days later, uh, they get paid again, uh, thirteen forty-eight ninety-five. So again, that would be in a be a deposit. So we add nineteen sixty-six fifty-four, and that so the balance is now up to thirty-three fifteen forty-nine. On May thirty-first, uh, INT stands for interest. So you got interest of two dollars and five cents. So that would be a deposit. So we would take this and add the two hundred five, and then one last. Uh, there's a service charge here, uh, probably for the. Uh, the different the the kind of account uh, they're being charged fourteen ninety five per month by the financial institution for this account so that's a withdrawal so we would take this and subtract fourteen ninety five and we get thirty three oh two fifty nine for the balance at the end so that's what all the different uh, those different acronyms uh, stand for um, and that's basically how a bank statement works and that's the end of the tutorial.